Today we are doing a DIY street food tour. So there is a lot of options for booking street food tours that'll take you around to some of the local vendors in the walled city and get some money. But we decided we just want to do our own thing. So we're going to go find our own, find the top foods in Cartagena. Yep. And, and rate each street vendor. Yeah. So we'll rank them out of one to 10 just based on our personal preference and how good they are from each vendor. And the price. Yeah. We should save some money today to eat in this way. Yeah. So we'll see what we can come up with. <laughs> So we just got our first item here, which is an arretas con queso. Mm -hmm. It's made with uh, cornmeal and filled with cheese. There was cheese or ham and cheese, and we just got the one that was just cheese. Yeah. And uh, it was 4,000 pesos, which is roughly a dollar forty Canadian. So pretty good on the budget. Yeah. First bite. Roy hot. Mmm. <laughs> I'd give it <clears throat> seven out of ten. It's not bad. I give it maybe like a six. It's a little bland, mm -hmm. but it's good and it's fresh and can't be that price. Exactly. We're gonna be full for about ten dollars. Exactly. Yeah. Price is fantastic. Not a whole lot of taste to it. It's very flavorful. It's just there's it's dense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On to the next. So we needed a quick little drink break mm -hmm. already. So stop number two yeah. is our lemonade stand. So this one we just stopped at, it was uh, 10,000 peso, which is a pretty significant jump. We are right in the middle of the walled city now. However, that's only $3.50. Yeah. So we're still so doing it's pretty still well. still reasonable, and we got the largest size. Yeah, it was easier to just get one large and split it. And uh, we found some shade in the park because we are sweating. Mm -hmm. so My rating? I haven't tried it yet. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. 8 out of 10. Tastes fantastic. A little pricey. That's a 9 out of 10 for me. Ooh, yeah, that's good. in the walled city is La Paleteria and it is a, a popsicle place yeah so they make them all um, in-house yep in-house popsicles and we got a tropical kind mm. and I don't know what this kind is but Hi. it looks fun oh it's like um no bubble gum Ooh. Yep. anyways it is melting yeah uh, so we gotta hurry up and eat these but you guys should definitely stop here. It's cash only and they have a ton of flavors. Mm -hmm. So make sure while you're in here, you bring some cash and stuff. So we are back downtown now at the Walled City. Uh, it is about 10.30 p.m. It is lively down here. So we came down, there's way more street vendors down here. We've got loads of options. So we should be able to finish this video up on the right place. First snack of the night is pinchos, which is meat on a stick basically. So we've got two kinds of sausage. One of them is their local uh, sausage in Colombia. I remember how they make it. We've got chicken and beef as well. Really 
this was 12,000 Colombian pesos, which is just under $5 Canadian. It's not bad for all this meat. Honestly, I would give it like six out of 10. It's pretty good, but I think we've got a lot more to see still. Okay, so, would you stop eating that for two seconds and can you pass me that bottom piece? Which bottom piece? The one that you didn't like. Yeah. Yeah, so it turns out you didn't like that one and neither did the dog, so it must not have been a good piece of meat. Yeah, he spat it right out. This is maybe my most anticipated street food in Cartagena. This is Patacan con Toro. Basically a fried plantain that's been smashed and topped with con Toro, which is everything. So there's all the meats, cheese, sauce. It is a huge serving. This was 19,000 pesos. This is about probably 10 bucks or so Canadian. So, I mean, this has some weight to it. It is definitely worth it. I've been waiting all day to try this. Mm. Oh my God. That is a 10 out of 10. So good. Mine was good. Um, oh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Dago. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. You want a bite? No. Not interested. Dang. Uh, Papa Reno, uh, not my favorite. And not really what I expected. It's more of a kind of a ball of like a thick cheese inside. Yeah. But. What is uh, that? Is that the meat inside too? I don't know what's inside of it. Okay. Not my first choice, especially after the last. Oh my goodness, the last one was like. And I even tried it after, and it was so good. Yeah, it was Best like best street oh food goodness. I've ever had, but also like just top tier. One of my favorite foods I've ever had. Yeah, it was and great. It was in uh, Plaza de la Trinidad in Getsemani. It's always there through the evening. I mean when your food's that good, you don't lose your spot. Yeah. So you can find it there. If there's any street food you're gonna try on your trip, that is the That's street the food one. you need to try. Yeah. Um, this empanada is like, I don't know. It's fine. It's good. 5.5 5 out of 10. Um, my papa is a one out of 10. <laughs> Personally, so bad. I did not enjoy it. Um, but to each their own. You might love it. I just did not like it personally. Anyways, and that is it for our, uh, testing our street foods. Yeah, we had a blast trying these foods in Cartagena. We love so eating So many food, good options. And we got to try a whole bunch of new things. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. That's part of what traveling is about, is the new experiences, so. Yeah. But like we said, if we're here, you need to go to get some money to try that. It yeah. was so good. Yeah, worth every penny, which was not a whole lot. That was pretty cheap. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for joining us today, and we will see you in the next video. Hopefully you guys got some good, useful information from this. Make sure if you want to see some more, you subscribe, like, drop a comment down below. We appreciate it.